Hi, and welcome to um, the new moon reading, September 20th uh, in Virgo. I decided to come outside in the forest, uh, something I haven't done in a little bit, um, to give you a reading. Virgo is um, the virgin, female virgin. And when we say virgin, that usually means, um, in the ancient times, vir a virgin was considered, the definition or the word was considered uh, directed towards uh, the youth or women in general. When I say youth, I mean a, a female or a woman in general who's never been married before. So not necessarily a virgin per se, but virgin in terms of marriage, okay? So um, the traits of Virgo is earth practicality. Um, although its polar opposite is Pisces, and Pisces has a lot of dreamy, intuitive, watery, emotional, um, sometimes illusionary, delusionary um, traits, very artistic and creative. Um, Virgo comes to bring these dreams into reality. And also to, um, because Virgo analyzes everything and likes to pinpoint and pick at things and um, see what works and what doesn't work. They're very clean in organizing things. They're very clean and clear and precise and that's how they want to do things. Um, so if, you know, the last six months or in recent times or even a while back you had some dreams and ambitions... Uh, maybe you're a writer, a journalist, or, you know, you're a spiritual person. Maybe you ha you've had dreams of starting your own spiritual progress or religion or um, whatever you want to call it, you know, in an organized manner. Or even just to start from the beginning or to even continue something that you thought wasn't really realistic. This new moon um if you could kind of gather yourself during the new moon like i said it's on the 20th of september um and just don't overanalyze because that will keep you up at night um but virgo will help you to analyze and think about all of it and where you're headed with it and if you want to be going somewhere with it. So it's kind of like take it and direct it and direct it in a way that you've never done it before. That's what I want to say. Direct it in a way that you've never done it before. So, of course, in order to, to see if that, something is going to work for you, you do start with A. You start with A. You start from the beginning, right? So if A failed you, um, but you still have these dreams, you know, because you did start off at A, you will still be bumped up to B because you still, you tried A. So it's not necessarily that you need a pass. It, it depends on how you perceive things, okay? So in this, in a fashion, it's not necessarily that you need a pass by A, but because you did start off with A, you experienced what's right in general, in the collective, for you, what's working, what's working for people whatever okay um you know if you're here to be a leader or if you don't even want to be a leader but people look up to you or look to you as if you're a form of a leader uh because you um are persuasive and charming naturally and you have a voice or a passion for something even if it's just to draw up some art piece and it really moves people well then you naturally have, you do have your followers that, you know. So, um, I did pull out some cards with the Babylonian tarot deck, okay. Um, just before I put the camera on, I pulled out some cards. Um, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six cards. So, the first card that came out was the uh, five of arrows defeat, but it was reversed, okay. So this is the first thing that came up. Like when I saw this card, the first thing that I came up that I just felt was that there's being a revision, okay? Like it 
it's like before you had these 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 visions these dreams these ambitions and you were shooting it up with um into the air these arrows you were shooting them up with you know spreading your wings ready to fly and um it could be that it wasn't so practical or it wasn't tangible or it wasn't you didn't necessarily know which steps correct steps to take okay like nobody knows everything um in order to succeed, you must fall a few times to see what works, right? So now it's reverse. So now you're coming into this, you know, like a really practical form of mindset to bring this into reality on physically because it's coming down and down is the earth. Up is the sky, is the heavens, and down is the earth. And what do, what do we need on this planet? Food, money, shelter, okay? Um, so it could be that there's an artist or a writer, or journalist that's watching, or maybe even like a tattoo artist that is really great at what they do, but they're not in it for the money, which is awesome because, you know, one less person that's obsessed with the status or the ego, or, you know, or I don't even like that word ego, Ugh. but, um, at the end of the day, though, we do have bills to pay. We have to feed ourselves because uh, no one else is going to do it for us, right? Like if you're planning on moving or if you have to live and pay for your hydro and electric bill, like we do have bills to pay. So that's what that's about. Okay, so that cross is the directions are there. So just change up your, change up the direction. Remember the A, you go to A to B. Then we got the six, number six card, the lovers, Ishtar and Tammuz. Six is associated with Venus. You know, in ancient times, six was actually associated with the planet Saturn. Talking about organization and being organized, Saturn is all about a um, very, very strict planet that gets you into freaking reality and will like smash you up and bash you down until everything is broken down and re remade it's like a reconstruct of something um i i feel the energies of venus is somewhat similar to that okay venus has a reputation of being the lover and she makes everything beautiful that's true but she's also chaotic in her way too she comes with her chaos so venus is a warm planet I know Saturn is a cooler planet, but Venus is a warmer planet. And um, I like the rainbow. <laughs> and she's dancing. So the thing is, when chaos appears beautiful, you know that thing, that person, that passion, that dream is going to come with chaos. You know it. But there's just something so wonderful about her or about the dream or the the hobby or the the writing writing about something or creating an art canvas of something this is just a general by the way um look at the peacocks in there there's some flowers and there's tamuz making an offering which is watery based too so there is a watery based influence here or someone with a watery like Neptune or Uranus Uranus and also Venus okay Something with Libra, so um, we do have a Libra, um, oh my gosh, completely, my brain stopped there for a second. Okay, yeah, we have um, an alignment taking place next month. I know we start Libra on the 23rd, so um, the 23rd of September is the first day of Libra, so about three days after the new moon. We're in Libra.
Okay, so the message is different for everyone, right? And then we got number one, the magician EA. Okay, so this is just a confirmation that you direct your reality, okay? Maybe you're dreaming of a, being with a, a person. Maybe you have dreams of being moving to a faraway land with a person that's there and she's dancing, so she's living her purpose. Dancing symbolizes movement, right? It's, it's, an, ex, it's an expression of your passions, your movements, your purpose. It's a, it's a body expression. So you can see a person's passion through the, the, the flow of their dance, okay? It's a silent form of expression. So maybe there's a person here who has this dream of uh, this fantasy and he wants to make it tangible and um, be somewhere with this person. Okay, so EA. What you do in EA? <laughs> so EA is um, also closely linked with um, Enki, the god Enki. <laughs> And if you can see the fishies flowing up and down, so there's a f movement, okay, literally movement, where there's like a river. Um, somebody has um, is either from an area, a town or a city where they grew up and there was a river flowing there and they would write little letters like little notes when they were young, very young, like I'm getting a visual, a picture in my head right now of a person who was very young and would write things in this paper and fold it into four corners or even mash it up sometimes and just throw it in the river and it would pass by. If you think about it, if you realize and become conscious enough, yes, that's a form of magic. That's a form of magic. He has a wand with a ram's head. Someone's ancestors are speaking through. Speaking of ancestors, do you see his hat? His hat is very closely linked with the with the why well, of course it's a Babylonian tarot deck, but with the with the ancient Yazidi people, their traditional hats, and also in um, today, now and day, it's Turkey, but in Western Armenia, the old ancient Armenian highlands. Um, if you look up Nimrod, and um, there's an ancient um, royal family with the eight-pointed star. They all wear these hats, the men. Just like the top of the dome of their temple, which symbolizes masculinity and going up, right? Air, air. And um, if you look at the six-pointed star, it's associated with the masculine and the feminine coming together. So the, the, the star coming downwards is the feminine, earth. Okay. And the masculine is upwards, like a pyramid. There's a turtle here. Turtles are steady, very steady animals. Um, also linked up with Virgo because Virgo, although, you know, there's um, turtles and... Anyways, very precise, slow movement, but very precise, man. They'll they'll go, they'll do what they need to do, but just don't rush them. You can't rush them because anything that's gonna be done, like this relationship, okay, don't rush it. If it's good, doesn't matter if it takes five years, ten years, don't rush it. But if it does happen fast, because of outer circumstances, external circumstances above the both of you, then take that and grow with each other. Okay, because from what I'm aware of, turtles don't find their mates slowly. 
There's a turtle here. Turtles are steady, very steady animals. Um, also linked up with Virgo because Virgo, although, you know, there's uh, turtles and... Anyways, very precise. Slow movement, but very precise, man. They'll, they'll go. They'll do what they need to do, but just don't rush them. You can't rush them because anything that's going to be done like this relationship, okay? Don't rush it. If it's good, doesn't matter if it takes five years, ten years. Don't rush it. But if it does happen fast, because of outer circumstances, external circumstances above the both of you, then take that and grow with each other. Okay? Because from what I'm aware of, turtles don't find their mates slowly. They don't find them. They, they find each other like that, just like that. But when it comes to fulfilling their life purpose together, they're slow. When it comes to moving, they're slow. So, and then we've got a 17. The Star Siduri. Ah. So, speaking of an eight-pointed star, that's, you know, literally directed to that eight-pointed star. Seven. Eight. These are, um, definitely like Aquarius and Piscean energy influences. Like I said, with the Uranus and, uh, Neptune energies are present, okay? From what I'm aware of, the Star Tarot card is literally associated with Aquarius, um, because Aquarius is that eclectic, life-giving, um, force, um, and okay, every sign, everything in reality, everything in reality has a plus side and a negative side, a, neg a positive and a negative, okay, a dark and a light, everything. So on the plus side of Aquarius is, likes to get into humanitarian causes, okay, and likes to recreate things. If you look, if you study the planet Uranus, the planet literally rotates in its center, on its belly half of it which i'm not sure why they haven't associated um uranus with pisces because pisces is the two fish that um is not facing each other it's it's in it's in complete different different opposite directions speaking about directions um Uranus, half of the planet is in complete darkness, like the yin and yang, and the other half gets all the sunlight because of the way it rotates around the sun. And that's because it's been said billions of years ago, something smashed into or tried to smash into Uranus and it turned the orbit and started rotating different. So that is why Uranus is known to be dominant in the new age, okay? Like now we're in the age of Aquarius. So there's a lot of internet, electronics, Electricity, thunderbolts, uh, new newness, um, lots of people have tattoos now and day. Um, there's rights for everything, but we're lacking human rights as a whole, you know? So things like that. Um, there's a saying that we come from the stars, from the heavens. Our souls are made up of little gases of the stars that are up in the heavens and the skies. So, I feel like this is the time right now. Just stay center and figure out what is meaningful to you, okay? I always say that, but re reality. We need a rea realistic check sometimes, okay? We have all this hustle and bustle. People are always around us. Every type of people. Um, we lose track, we lose the sense of our reality, of our true essence, of what we want to do with ourselves, okay? Um, so there's, a, you know, there's that present energy of that yin and yang, the pull and tug, the one direction and the other direction. You know, you could be faced, uh, maybe you have two opportunities. Maybe you have an opportunity to stay at west and move to east or... You know, at West, you have a higher paying job available staying for you, but West is offering you a lower paying job, but more meaning behind it. 
I don't know where that came from. But, you know, if there's an opportunity there for you where there's more meaning behind it, it's something you've wished and dreamed for all your life, but you're just so damn comfortable with your reality right now because of the finances, but you're so miserable. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life and what choices to make. But realistically, if you're unhappy and it's making you sick, I would choose the one that's a lower paying job and just figure out your circumstances when you're there or, you know, talk about it with the people who are going to be involved with you. You know, have a backup plan, have a few backup plans. And if that's not realistic for you right now, either something will follow up or open up to you when you start taking those steps or, you know, plan it plan it together prince of wands jira i love this card because i love his eyes they're just pure white pure potential fire potential we've got a lot of watery um um i know this is an air sign but there's water here it's like the uranus and the neptunian energies so what goes up must come down. Look at the fish. Whatever dreams and ambitions that are going through your head, they must fall back into the ground and become a reality. So the Prince of Wands is all about that fire. Hi, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good. Are you reading tarot cards? Yeah. Nice job. You did? <laughs> That's really cool. It's going on my YouTube channel. Pardon? It's going on my YouTube channel. Oh, no way. I'm actually recording it right now. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'll turn it off. 